Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Before we get into your reading, Pisces, <clears throat> I do want to give you guys a quick message or a quick update. We are doing March giveaways. And what that means is go to the video that was recently uploaded, the Seven Leaf Prosperity video spell. Comment below to be automatically entered into the giveaways. The winners will be announced uh, here on my channel on YouTube at the end of the month. So best of luck to all of you guys. Also, I want to wish all of you Pisces out there a very, very happy birthday. Uh, my mother is a Pisces, so <clears throat> it's very important to give them their grand. <laughs> Sometimes I forget to do that for some of these signs. Uh, but Pisces, I never seem to forget to tell you guys happy birthday. And I think it has a lot to do with my mother. <laughs> so anyways, on to your reading Pisces. Now, your first card here is the strength card, strength card, sorry, next to the five of cups, the lover's card, the tower card, the ten of cups, the two of wands, and the king of wands. Wow. Okay, Pisces, I think that March is going to be very intense for you guys. Uh, there is a lot of passion that is really being supercharged here. Um, so, okay, so there is two different scenarios. Now, for some of you guys, you are dealing with a Leo. For others of you, you may be dealing with a Gemini. And for others of you, you may be dealing with just a fire sign, which would be a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. Um, now, for some of you guys, uh, the strength card does speak about lack of confidence or lack of courage and <clears throat> it could signify being in a relationship or being in a committed relationship where you're no longer happy but you lack the courage to call it quits you lack the courage to walk away from this connection or this relationship and i do see you guys being extremely tempted for the month of march so again now here's the thing if you are in a committed relationship and you are no longer happy and you've been dealing with someone else, even if it's just communication and it's very innocent for you, know and understand that the possibility and the probability of this getting or going to the next step is very high in March. So my suggestion is be very careful to not make decisions that are temporary, that can affect you in the long run. Okay, that's as clear as I'm going to make it. Now with the Tower card here and the Lover's card, I do see a whirlwind romance. And that's the reason why I'm saying I feel that for a lot of you guys, as I do have here the Ten of Cups, and this is signifying marriage. Uh, this is signifying marriage or long-term committed relationship. And the Two of Wands, looking for someone um, <clears throat> or looking towards someone that is not of that is not in your partnership or in your current partnership. And again, having the desire or the lust to be intimate, um, intimate could signify a multitude of things. It doesn't just necessarily mean physical. But again, it's almost like universe is bringing to you a person that is more uh, connected to you or that can emotionally connect better with you and be, it starts off as something innocent, but it can turn into something where you are willing to walk away from this marriage or walk away from this connection. And the message here is to be careful. So what they're telling me is, you know, warning. And when I hear that, it usually implies that the person that you're willing to jeopardize everything for may not be something temporary as I do have the lover's card here, and the lover's card uh, does signify the sign of Gemini. And Gemini's energy is very quick, is very temporary. It doesn't stick. So again, be very careful with that. Um, now, for others of you, I do see travel. And in this travel, again, some of you guys may be tempted. So again, if you are not happy, be honest with yourself, not just with yourself, be honest with your partner and walk away from it. For others of you, the second scenario here is you've been in a long-term committed relationship, perhaps with a Leo, perhaps with a Gemini, and 
you feel very unhappy in this situation because perhaps they're not willing to commit or they're not wanting to commit. Now, for the month of March, I feel that there's going to be a situation that is going to come about, resurface for the month of March, where there's going to have to be made a decision. And I feel that this decision doesn't fall on you, Pisces. It's going to fall on your partner. So it's almost like they're going to either have to step up and take it to the next level, or they completely end the relationship and it comes to you as something very sudden and unexpected. Um, and again, it could signify that there is fear of commitment or fear of feeling like they're going to be trapped. And that's the reason why they have not committed to you. Now, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, Pisces, I do see a new person coming in. And again, I feel that you're going to be meeting this person either on a road trip or on a very quick travel. It could be just going to the next city. Um, but this person is not from where you're at, or at least not the city where you're at. And it's going to be a very quick whirlwind romance. Again, like I said, a very sexual type of energy, almost magnetic type of pull towards each other. And it is that type of relationship that uh, it almost feels like you've known each other forever and you quickly rush into the relationship and quickly rush into the physical. Now, what Spirit is telling you is, again, um, be practical about it. If you're looking for something long term, make them work for it. Make them show you that they're worthy of having you, okay? Don't just give yourself very easily. And I know I don't need to say that to Pisces, but again, temptation is very prominent in this reading as I do see a lot of sexual energy, almost like you're being swept off your feet. So again, just be practical in this matter, Pisces. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon, okay? Bye.